Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Damien. Thank you for stopping by. This is my Flash episode 21 video. Uh, so this episode actually was a lot larger than I think even I understood when I first watched it. Uh, so I really kind of thought about a lot of the things they did in this episode. There was a lot of Easter eggs. They were also kind of pulling from Flashpoint Paradox yet again. Uh, but it was a really, really solid episode all around. It was not one of the better episodes of the season. To me, it wouldn't even rank in the top 10 because... Aside from the Speed Force scenes with Barry and Nora Allen and the overall time they spent there in West Allen, the episode to me was not really that amazing. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't very, very good in some ways as well. So let me know what you guys think. You know, always feel free to comment down below. Leave a like rating. I do appreciate it. So Barry is the runaway dinosaur, and that really is the name of the episode. That was the whole reason behind the name of the episode rather uh, it was a pretty emotional episode they had really great scenes i personally enjoyed all of the scenes where barry was in the speed force because there was a lot that they actually never really established with the barry allen character and with the speed force uh, they never really gave a very good speed force explanation i was at some point i thought maybe eobar thon in season one would have kind of mentioned something about it but it was pretty vague all around so uh, the speed force has been around for a while it is aware but they you know they keep it a mystery just know that it's been there for a long time it also leaves the option open for future seasons so it's just one of those things that they can actually pull from if they want to in further to further the storyline in season three if they choose to do it that way they could also just mess around with it and bring other side characters in and they could also give more of an explanation with regards to that if they choose to so uh, I really, really enjoyed that aspect of the episode. There was actually a lot going on throughout, I think just with the Barry Allen character that I really liked. So, and tell me guys, if you think he actually lost his powers or if it was really just all in his mind, because it doesn't really seem very clear because him being within the speed force like that, did, was that really the catalyst to give him his powers back or did he really just still have his speed and he just thought that he didn't anymore? Uh, it's uh, really open to interpretation, but let me know what you guys think. So as far as the Flashpoint connections go, uh, in the comics, when he when he went back, or sorry, in the, the entire Flashpoint storyline, as well as the movie and everything like that, when he went back in time, he chose to save his mother, and by doing that, he altered the timeline completely. Reality, as he was aware of it, had changed drastically. Every single member of the Justice League, all their storylines were different because of what he had done so all the outcomes were shifted so this episode really established him accepting his mother's death coming to terms with it and the scenes with Nora allen for me were the best like they were really really emotional they were i thought they were just well directed uh, the dialogue was well written and it gave barry some well-needed closure with regards to his mother because he had conversations with his mom in the comics where he told her like you know, I, I, I have to save you. I can't let you die. But he told her, like, what ended up happening. And she said, you know, you just the life, the life of, of my life, rather, just does not outweigh all of these other people's lives. So it was really, really well done. And it's a shame that they, the way the Flash character is written, that his mother is dead. Because I would really like to see Nora Allen as a character on the show. I think that even though... Joe has been great, and now you have Henry Allen. I think I, I, I maybe would have preferred it, and this is just from the TV show perspective, based on the way the acting is done, I would actually prefer to have Nora Allen be the character that is there for him and have Henry Allen be the one that had died. So, uh, but that's just me personally, because of the conversations and the way they, the relationship that they had between Nora and Barry, like, I, I just enjoy their scenes together, so it's really 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 good and it's just one of those things that you never really know how it's going to turn out until you do a tv show and then the chemistry just kind of clicks that's basically how i see Nora allen and barry allen when they have scenes together like when he ran back in time last season to try to save his mother like that scene was really really well done so yeah let me know how you guys feel about that but that's just for me personally uh the next thing is girder uh, him being back i just saw that more as a comedic approach it was a weaker episode, like I said, minus the Speed Force-related scenes in West Allen, but 
him being back was just kind of there, and I use this term sometimes, he was basically just like filler, he's just kind of there, reanimated the small particle accelerator, recreated explosion, brought him back, and, you know, that's just kind of what they, they went with. This wasn't a very, very strong episode outside of the Speed Force stuff, so that's all I really can say as far as him being back, but Jesse Quick, Jesse Quick was really, really that was a that was a big part because at the end there is Barry Allen is he transferring speed force to Jesse Quick I'm not really sure is it is it powers manifesting within her who knows uh, this has happened in the comics so maybe question mark there because no one really knows we'll just have to wait and see what they choose to do I just don't think I know for a fact that there's no way they're gonna give both Wally West and Jesse Quick powers simultaneously. I think it's very possible that you can have Jesse Quick showing up with maybe some powers, starting to manifest some powers in Season 3. Who knows what types of powers she's going to have, but it's very possible. So we'll just have to kind of see, you know, what kind of storylines they want to pull from, because there's a lot of team-ups that they could potentially do with Wally West, Jesse Quick, and The Flash. So we'll we'll see how they, how they play it all out. But it did seem like Barry was transferring the Speed Force into her, and then she woke up but she didn't she wasn't exhibiting any signs of having any powers or anything like that so obviously they're going to save it for the bigger episodes like the season finale or the season premiere of season three or something like that but harrison wells did say that events are repeating themselves referring to barry allen so maybe she'll have powers we'll see how it all plays out now cisco Again, he's like my favorite character. You know, he's tapping into his powers. He's vibing different dimensions. He was able to tap into his powers and get and see within the Speed Force. I mean, he's really, really just a cool character. He also had amazing dialogue and funny one-liners again this episode, as he quite often does. Uh, he's just the guy. And I'm really, really fond of his character now. I think the more I see him, like, if he were to be killed off, let's just say if they were to do something drastic like that, I know a lot of people would be really disappointed, but... I think it's safe to say that's probably not going to happen. So, but he was really great and he was able to kind of alleviate the weaker storyline of Girder to make it a little bit more entertain entertaining and enjoyable. So, really great. Now, I'm not going to talk about West Allen as much as I did in my last review, but they were great. And they're going to looks like they're going to be a couple it seems. It seems like I'm not sure if they're going to transition as quickly as a lot of people might believe they will, but they Barry basically made it very clear that Iris is the one, and she's always going to be the one. So, I love their scenes, they were great, even the scenes when it was actually the Speed Force impersonating Iris, I really, really enjoyed it. They they just have that chemistry, and I've said this in a couple times now, where you really, really feel their scenes when they're together, like, and so anyone who maybe has seen the Flashpoint Paradox, in the beginning of, of the movie, I believe it was the beginning, I could be wrong, but that grave scene that they had with Barry and Iris visiting Nora, that scene was done almost exactly the same way in the Flashpoint Paradox movie, except it was for different reasons, but I got that as like a little Easter egg. Uh, Kevin Smith was also in the episode as an Easter egg as well, uh, just because but he was very vocal about that, the fact that he would be in that scene, otherwise no one would really know. So that was really great. Uh, but yeah, West Allen was fantastic. And, you know, I always like their scenes. I think they are going to slowly progress into that relationship phase. We're just going to see how they do it. As far as Barry goes, though, I think his speed is, like I was saying, I think he never really lost his powers, but we're going to see. But he's just about as fast as he was before. So it's going to be an interesting season finale for sure. Uh, zoom at the end, the end scene there. His plan is about to unfold. Uh, the ultimatum with Caitlyn. I don't think she'll officially join Team Zoom. I mean, she may make it seem that way just to kind of play along with him. But we know that she's not going to do that realistically. I think they're slowly nudging her in the direction of Killer Frost. And I really hope they do a good depiction of Killer Frost with her as opposed to Earth 2. I think she'll, Daniel, like, she'll be able to actually kind of flesh out her character a little bit, try something a little different with the her interpretation of Killer Frost, so that should be really, really good, and I imagine that'll happen if it does happen in Season 3, but she'll obviously be back with Team Flash pretty soon once everything kind of plays out. She'll, she'll play on Team Zoom for a while until things just kind of go south, and then she'll quickly use 
her chance to escape and get back to Team Flash. So next week's episode is going to be amazing. One episode left after next week's episode. That's the, that's the season finale. So I hope next week's is a really strong episode to kind of continue right into the season finale. So uh, it was an overall 8 out of 10 episode from me just because of the Speed Force scenes that I really enjoyed. Uh, the Flash is back to where he was with the Speed Force. In my opinion, it was all about emotional resolution for his character, and I really enjoyed the scenes, like I said, between him and Nora Allen, and the reading of the runaway dinosaur, West Allen, them visiting his mom's grave, like, there was a lot of closure for Barry there, and I think there was overall growth for the character as well, so share your thoughts and opinions, leave likes on the video, comment down below, I do apologize for this review going up later than it normally does, but I will see you guys for Arrow, hopefully. It is sometimes hard to watch that show, but I'll try. I'll try my best. So my name is Damien. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.